the first rig in February. And these are my three raised beds. It's cold and it's wet. The wind's blowing. There's nothing growing. Nothing we can do in the garden. Um, we'll just have to wait till this weather picks up. I've got my dog out with me, Molly. Let's see if I can get Molly into this shot. Hi Molly, say hello. That's all you're going to get out of Molly. That's all you're going to get out of me. It's far too cold to be out here. It's the 1st of April so it's quite early in the year yet. In this top bed are my 10 litre pots. These are a 10 inch pot. They've each got one early potato in them. They've started to show now. The reason I've got them in this bed is because it's too early to plant anything else in the bed and I needed somewhere to put them. And also I have a polythene cover that I can put over should we get a frost. In the fullness of time when they become too big I will have to lift them out of this bed. I'll probably place them around the bed somewhere on the paths and we'll sow the bed with seeds. In the middle bed are onions and shallots. There's some red onions and some white onions and some red shallots and some white shallots. The netting on top is just to prevent birds going on the bed and pulling the sets out. In the bottom bed is a short row of spring cabbage that I've just hung on from last year. I've also sown under some improvised covers using strawberry punnets and the tops of seed trays, uh, a short row of turnip and I think it might be a couple of rows of beetroot although I'm not 100% certain on that one and then just today under that improvised clutch which is polythene and wire there is a row of spring onions and a row of uh, let me see, spring onions and um, spring onions and radish. So spring onions and radish have just gone in today. Um, the other seeds went in earlier this week because we've had a couple of nice days. And that's me done for today. These are my three raised beds in the first week in May. Everything in these beds has been planted in March, April. The garden's on a slope um, and so I generally refer to them as the top bed, the middle bed and the bottom bed. The bottom bed is the one furthest away from the camera. Uh, I'll just talk you along that bed, let you know what I'm doing. Um, you can probably see my cold frame, homemade cold frame, tucked away in the corner next to the rhubarb and just behind the spring cabbages. Um, that's a cold frame made out of some plastic sheet in some wire and some, uh, an old fish box. And inside that uh, I have a few courgette plants in three inch pots. They're hardening off. So I use that, that device to harden things off. The spring cabbages are the only things that uh, have been in since last year. I think there's only four of them there. Coming along from the spring cabbages uh, we have a couple of rows of beetroot, uh, a row of radish and a row of uh, spring onions. Um, they haven't done so well. Uh, they're a bit sparse and I think they're a bit sparse because the ground's been too cold really for seed germination. So although I've got them into the ground early um, they haven't done as well as they would have done had I left it a bit longer. But they're in there now, so. And, and, and where there are gaps, I'm trying to germinate some seeds indoors and I'll, I'll fill those gaps in as best I can. Uh, moving along from those spring onions, you'll see there's a patch of lettuce. Um, they seem to be doing okay. 
and just moving on from those uh, are the couple of rows of dwarf French beans. Uh, they seem as though they've stood still. I put those in some time ago uh, and they don't seem to have moved very much. And although I am protecting those with polythene, you can see there's a frame sitting on top of the bed and I've got a cover for that. It's still probably a bit too cold for them. In the middle bed, I have some onions and shallots. Uh, from the left of the bed, as you look at it, there are Stuttgart giants and Carmen. Carmen is a red skin variety. And then on this, this end of the bed, there are three rows of shallots made up of gold and gourmet and red sun. And then there are some odd shallots that I got at my local shop. I've christened them mystery because they are, because they didn't have a name on them, so I don't know what they are. Uh, and just at the end of that bed, you can see creeping into the shot, uh, there are some potatoes in, in bags. Uh, that's a potato trial I'm conducting. There's all kinds of different varieties in there. I just can't recall what they are. They're all ticketed up and the bags are numbered. So if I had a look at uh, my records, I'd know what's in those bags. But as I'm making this video, I haven't got them records to hand, so I can't tell you what varieties we grow. But they're doing quite well. And as we come to this uh, top bed, furthest away from you, you might be able to see some stones sitting on the bed, some small pebbles. I like to mark where I've put stuff. Um, there's some transplanted parsnips there. They're transplanted germinated seeds from indoors. I think most of those have got away, but, but they're not doing that well. Again, cold ground, wet weather. Um, moving along from those two rows of parsnips, there's two rows of carrots. Uh, again, very, very patchy. Uh, some leeks that I've transplanted. Uh, another short row of parsnips that you can probably see, and they were germinated indoors. Uh, a row of beetroot, again germinated indoors, marked with some small white pebbles. And then at this end, I think you can probably see some uh, dwarf French beans. Um, and all the plastic paraphernalia that's lying about, that's because the weatherman said we might have had some frost over the last two or three days, and we haven't. Um, so I've had a fight this morning pulling all that plastic back, taking all the covers off, letting this rain onto the beds. Um, but I'll leave that plastic where it is for the time being, uh, and if that threat of frost returns, then I'll try and get everything covered up as best I can. So that's it then. We've, we've had four months, three months, four months of growing, February, March, April, and we're just in the beginning of May, and this is where I am with the raised beds. Um, I'll try and do a video each month, and so you should be able to see how those beds progress uh, month by month. Hope you've enjoyed the video.